Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Helping to educate, inform, and celebrate our region's manufacturing successes. Because great things are happening in all of our communities. Most of your favorite products probably have a printed label. At Maritime Labels and Packaging, their new digital press is producing high-quality, full-color labels for brands all across Eastern Canada. The process begins with a graphic designer. Once designed, a graphic approval file is created where the client will have a final review of the design creative before anything is printed. The dotted line represents the finished label size. The file also provides a color reference for approval. At this stage, the client would approve the color, layout, copy, fonts, and overall artwork. Once approved, the graphic designer creates a production file and sends that file to the computer system that controls the press. The layout of this file will maximize the allowed printable space in a repeated pattern. Each job on this HP Indigo digital web press runs on roll stock papers and other label materials. This 80 pound roll of stock has pre-assembled glue and liner. The core mandrel is inserted into the label stock. Compressed air is forced into the mandrel, making it larger so it holds itself in place inside the roll. The roll is lifted hydraulically onto the press. The stock is trimmed and fed through a series of splice bars. Here, the material that ran in the last press job is taped to the new material to be threaded through the press. The press operator programs the label stock or substrate details into the press program, enabling the press to calibrate the correct tension and pressures for this run. The operator starts the press, feeding 86 feet of label stock material through the press until the new material is fully threaded through. Next, the press is calibrated for color. Test strips are printed and measured for accuracy. The press automatically makes adjustments until it meets the specifications for the job perfectly. The press prints C, M, Y, K, and white. This is commonly referred to as process printing. It uses cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Once the calibration for color is complete, the press operator does a visual inspection. The first part of the press run advances onto the inspection table, where the consistency of the printing is checked against a previous print run. She's double-checking colors, layout, and content. Now the press runs the entire job at a speed of up to 100 feet per minute. Inside the press, many moving parts are at work. The label stock rolls out of the unwinder, where it's fed into the inline primer. This step puts a coat of clear primer on the stock, so it'll accept the ink more easily. Next, the stock moves under a hot air dryer, followed by a series of tension rollers. Now inside the print engine, the process starts with a charge roller applying electric charge to the imaging plate. A laser exposes the area of the image plate that needs to be printed upon. Then, ink developers apply ink, which only sticks to the areas that have a charge. The ink on the plate gets transferred to the printing blanket inside the press. Each color gets layered on top of the previous one in a process called single shot printing. The single shot is when all the colors get transferred from the blanket to the paper in a single shot. These labels are looking good, but they aren't finished yet. Next, they'll run through the embellishment press to accomplish some special design features. To set up the press for this job, the labels are spliced to be fed through the press. The splice is taped and trimmed. The hot stamp foil plate for this design is selected. The flatbed mounting tray is pulled out of the press and the stamp foil plate is mounted. The press operator is careful screwing it in place because the tray is hot. This design also has an element that needs to be done with silk screening. That station is set up next. The silk screen tray slides into place and the squeegee and scraper are lowered. 
varnish is poured onto the screen, and the screen is tested. After programming the features for this job, the press is started. The pressure and timing of the foil are adjusted until it lines up perfectly within the design. As the labels feed through the tension rollers, they make their way to the flatbed mounting plate. Foil stock is being fed through this section too. The labels and foil stock move together over the hot foil stamp, where the foil is stamped against the label and the embellishment is created. The extra foil rolls up and out of the line as the labels move on to the next section of the press. When the press run reaches the silkscreen station, the gloss varnish is applied to the design element, which in this case is a B. The varnish dries under a UV light and rolls through tension rollers and out onto a rewinder. Now that the printing part of these labels is complete, they're loaded onto the finishing press in the finishing department. Checking the customer docket, the press operator chooses the correct cutting die for finishing these labels, then programs the parameters. The die is a steel cutting plate. It's loaded onto a magnetic die cylinder. It acts as an anvil and punches out the top layer of the label stock, leaving the backing intact. It's called a kiss cut. A sensor measures the repeat of the label and programs where to cut. The cylinder turns continuously and the labels move back and forth under it to line up each cut. Next, the parameters of the trim cut are calculated. Rotary razors cut off the trim. Two knives are programmed to cut these three wide labels into three individual rolls of labels. Finally, the finished labels are wound onto individual cores. At Maritime Labels and Packaging, the press is often busy printing on clear shrink film that will become sleeves for beer cans and many other products. By printing white ink onto this clear material, the press can produce a beautiful array of colors. After printing, it's time for the seamer. The flat printed film runs through the seamer to turn the flat material into a tube shape that will slide over the packaging. This material folds one side of the film in, then the other side is folded on top of it. Hot glue secures the seam. The operator cuts a sample to test the strength of the seam, then runs the rest of the job. The winder moves back and forth so material doesn't stick together or become too tight. After the seamer, the tube-shaped film is loaded onto the sheeter. Here the film will be cut into individual beer can sleeves. Sensors detect the difference in the printing pattern and triggers a knife to drop down and make the cut. These are simple machines, but very precise.